Hey guys, it's Fulton Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I am going to open up a box of an old school product, which is in the game action from 2003, 2004. And it's so old that we see we have Mario on the cover. Uh, so this is a hobby box. It's pretty massive. Uh, expect 24 packs and eight cards per pack. Uh, and then if we look at the odds on the back, including the disclaimer, it says that the Rookie Redemptions, which I believe fall one out of 24 packs, one per uh, box, uh, expire as of July 31st, 2004, or 2018. So that is, what, 14 years ago? Uh, but the big thing about this is if you collect the set, the entire build the set, it's 600 cards. Uh, so th there are game used memorabilia inserts, one of 15, Center of Attention, one of 46, Rookie Debut Redemptions are one of 48, so it's every two boxes actually. First time All-Stars, one of 38 packs, Trophy Winners, Homeboys, League Leaders, Highlight Reels, and O Canada. So those are the things that we potentially could uh, collect. Uh, I would assume the best rookie redemption would be Marc-Andre Fleury because it's his rookie year, the 2003-2004. It's also Antoine Vermette and believe it or not, it's also Brent Burns' rookie year. Uh, others like Patrice Bergeron, and if you're a Habs fan, you might recall Chris Higgins, who uh, uh, I actually have in the background there. In the background, I have the fresh inks, which are uh, Habs inks, which are the 2008-2009 um, the Centennial Habs uh, autos. The, the Leafs are called Marks, those are called Links. So let's open this up, see what we get. There's still a seal on this thing. So that goes to show this thing is untouched from all these years back. Hopefully uh, it doesn't, the cards don't stick too much, but my best guess is they probably will. It'll be interesting to see whether we can really crack through these quickly. So I don't know how much these initially cost, uh, I believe there probably were maybe $50 at the time. Uh, they've dipped down to $30. And presently on sale in the U.S., you can get them for $19, $17.95, believe it or not. So that's the, the benefit of these. I didn't pay much money. So let's see what I, what I get here. Uh, you notice it's the two, two across and two deep. Uh, and the packs themselves are very pretty. It's a very elegant uh, type of product with the Mario on it. So there, all, there are all kinds of inserts. We'll try to follow what we have and, and uh, sort of uh, call it out once we hit these inserts, if we hit these inserts, I assume we will. Uh, we should get a memorabilia, at least one memorabilia, maybe two, I'm not certain. Aaron Ward. So these are, they're, they're busy because they're mostly photo, but the the uh, little um, uh, action uh, branding in the bottom is, is very clean, very nice look, if dated by now. There's Thomas Bocoon, Mike Fisher, Ken Klee, and there's Oli the goalie. Okay, so those appear to be all base, I, I imagine. Uh, so we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build the, this set of 600 uh, cards, but we're also looking for Ruby game used jerseys and bronze game used jerseys and quad teammates and sapphire game used jerseys. So there's all kinds of potential inserts if you're very lucky and you actually hit one of those. Uh, the cards are a little bit stuck, but not... Hopefully not too disastrous, it's hard to tell. So this one is, this is an example of one that's totally stuck. Philip Boucher. Let's see if I can back the camera up a bit. There we go, get going here. Kenny Johnson. There's, there's Scott Thornton, not Sean Thornton. Scott Thornton as opposed to Joe Thornton, sorry. Or Sean, for that matter. Mostly, mostly base. 
Uh, but it's also, these are from 2003, 2004, so it's an era of, of base cards. Uh, there's nothing you can uh, do about that to a certain extent. Back then, we all we really cared about were building these sets. Uh, and the memorabilia cards were sort of just a, a new introduction to the hobby. So now people sort of collect less cards, but ones that are more valuable and are sort of embedded with memorabilia, which is sort of how the hobby has developed for better or for worse. I'm not, um, I don't love either way, actually. I think I like a mix of memorabilia cards and collecting base cards. For 1795, it's really nice to sort of get in touch with uh, some of the, um, the players from other eras and, uh, and just, you know, go through. So here we have Philip Sauvé, Matt Johnson, Pandolfo, there's Mike Commissarek. In the game, ended up really later on focusing very much so um, on high-end cards and uh, memorabilia. Scotty Upshaw, Alex Ald. Here's my career. All base so far. Um, It'll be interesting to see whether these other cards, potential things that we can hit, the insert cards, whether they look different from the base cards. This Peter Forsberg, Jason Allison. Here's Nabokov. Interesting. It's Timo Solani sort of on a television, and let's look at that. And what's funny about that is it's sort of he shot through the TV uh, as he sits on a film set. I don't know who came up with that notion for the uh, for the cards. Sergey Verizon. So 24 packs. There's a lot of base in here. So we're probably making our way through the 200 card set. Uh, I don't know whether there's doubles. There's Ryan Miller in a red Buffalo jersey. So that's pretty dated. And it's from the 2002-2003 uh, season. Matthew Piron. There's Brian Rafalski. And Danny Boyle. So thus far, no hits as far as I can tell, no inserts. Really we're looking for inserts and hopefully a memorabilia card. I have no idea what it will look like and what we would get. Uh, there's only way to, one way to find out and that is to hit it. Christmas McAllister. Oh, we do have an insert here. Okay, so we'll hold off on that. We'll look at that in a hot minute. See what our insert is. Uh, it looks pretty metallic. It looks like a foil of some sort. Um, we'll have to look it up in the checklist to see exactly what it is and what other cards. I'm just going to move these wrappers. It's, the, the writing is a little bit, it's really hard to sort of see in some of the names here. There's Jarrett Stoll. There's a nice in action of uh, Mike Dunham. There's Yannick Perot. Okay. Adam 
Nevada. There's Valerie Bure. Miranoff, Mike Johnson. There's Eric, Eric Desjardins. Eric Desjardins, who uh, infamously uh, got a hat trick. I believe it was a natural hat trick. Got got the tying goal and winning goal in the Stanley Cup Finals against uh, Wayne Gretzky and the uh, LA Kings. S essentially, being sort of the one of the most important uh, players in. Uh, Canadian's history based on uh, that one game sort of undoing Wayne Gretzky and the uh, and the LA Kings and one of the goals was because a stick measurement by Jacques Demers creating a power play so we could tie up the game late continuing on so not much here except for base. Um, so that's just sort of the nature of this particular product. Uh, but again, no skin off our teeth for that uh, that price. Uh, we have another we have another insert here. So let's look at this insert. Another. So it's our second insert, and let's see what it is. Wow, it's a highlight reel. So basically, it's real. It's like a film reel. And it's Marion Gabrick, 11 points in conf conference finals. And it's a really cool looking card. So you see this insert? It's very, it's very shiny, blue, metallic. Um, I can look up that checklist to see exactly what it is. And that should only take a second. So highlight reels are, uh, are the inserts. There are 12 of these in the, uh, in the game action, uh, 2002, 2000, 2003, 2004. Uh, and they run, there's Jess Jaguar, there's Patrick Roy, there's Brodeur, there's Mario Lemieux, there's Dan Heatley, Joe Sackett, Neuendijk, Jagger, Brett Hull, Nash, Turco, and Marion Gabrick. I'd almost say that Marion Gabrick would be the worst one to hit, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just sort of interested in hitting some of these hits uh, or inserts as best I can given just the frequency of the base, which is sort of all-consuming. Dvorak. Here's Marty Havlet. It's really hard to read some of these. Brad May. The, the difficulty is that some of the cards are horizontal and some of the cards are uh, vertical. And the vertical ones are easy to read. The ones that are horizontal, it's... You know, because it's white writing on a busy background, it's sort of, and it's not, um, you know, it just sort of blends in with the background. It's really hard to read some of these cards. Uh, I haven't hit any specific rookies that I know of, uh, rookie redemptions, although it's hard to, it's really hard to know. There's Chris Draper, Sean Bates, there's Johan Hedberg and Brandon Reed. If there are rookies, I assume that they're re redemption cards. If they're not redemption cards, I'm not really sure how they're specifying um, that they're rookies or not, whether that relates to the numbering or, or whatnot. Eric Cole. Here's Mario. So we got the Mario, that's nice. It's a good looking card. There's Shane Doan, and this is Happy Bullen. It's a great one of Happy Bullen. It's a beautiful card. I like it. The, the photos seem a little bit underexposed, to be honest with you, uh, which is kind of bizarre. Here's Kovalchuk, Ilya Kovalchuk. Again, it does look a little bit underexposed, a little bit dark. Scotty Lachance, and upside down Stephen Weiss. And there's Joey Juno, one of the best, one of the greatest assist leaders in the history of the game. And there's John Leclerc with his JVR hands down low. And Curtis Sanford, don't know who that is. It's sort of like Billy Ranford's uh, twin brother. Tim Conley. I think I have an insert in here too as well. So 
Yeah, so I'll hold off on this as well. And we'll go through those in a minute. So we did we did hit a couple of the inserts, but they're not um, you know they're nothing crazy. They're just sort of your your typical uh, not parallels, but just your uh, subset generic subset. Would be nice to get a jersey. And continuing on. are all base as far as I can tell. Read low. There are no uh, dividers or uh, sort of blank uh, cards in here. So this is before they, they did that, I'm gathering. Here's an other insert. This one's a bit, look at the corner, how dinged it is. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit, it's a little bit messy. Uh, and it is Darko Rutu. Okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, this is a long break, of course, as we hammer through all of these base cards. Uh, it would be so hard. I, if there were rookies and they weren't um, uh, pointed out. Oh, here's here's an insert. So I got a Homeboys, Sault Ste. Marie Homeboys, and it's Marty Turco and Ron Francis. Um, I left a couple of inserts out there. So I did. We did get a bunch of inserts. Uh, no jerseys that I can tell. Uh, I don't even remember if we we're guaranteed. One. It's either one per box, one per second box. Uh, so let's let's see the uh, what this homeboys is. So the homeboys is a fourteen um, fourteen card uh, checklist, and each card has two people from I guess from the same town. So there'd be Peter Forsberg would be Marcus Naslin. Ron Francis uh, would be with Marty Turco uh, per this. Mark Messier would be with Jerome Aginla. Uh, Chris Chelios would be with Bates Battaglia. Uh, Marty Brodeur and Mario would be from Montreal. Uh, so those are some of the uh, examples. Um, Dougie Gilmore, Kirk uh, Muller uh, also would be an example. Where were they from again? You tell me. It was it sort of like Oshawa, Peter, Peter, not Peterborough, was it? Something like that. Uh, but I got this one. So this is the second card in the uh, list, checklist. Continuing on, last couple of packs. Can we get a hit? Can we get a witness? This is a little bit stuck. I think I might have gotten something here. This, this might be an actual hit, hit. So let's put that aside. Sean Burke, Brian McCabe. It's funny that I forgot where, um, uh, what's his name, where Doug Gilmore is from. He, he is, it's, it's killing me. I was from Kingston, of course. This is, these are the things I should remember off the top of my head, but not being, um, sort of, uh, not having thought about those players for a while, you, you, you do forget. And then I got another hit as well. Okay. So I have a bunch of things here, which I, I ha I'll go through one uh, at a time uh, to see what my hits are. So here we go. First one that I got here is a Rookie Redemption debut. So this I cannot uh, redeem. And it's 604. So let's look at the checklist and see what 604, and it would have been Yoni... Uh, Pitkinen. So it wasn't the Marc Andre Fleury, it's the Yoni Pitkinen uh, one. And you know what? Um, seeing as it's not a super, super important one, um, I, I do like the card itself. There is no scratch off as, as far as I can tell. It just, you probably would just have to send this in. 
card is redeemable for a sequentially numbered rookie card of a player who makes NHL debut early in 2003 and 4. So this would be my rookie redemption. And I, I would have been sadder had it been Marc-Andre Fleury, although it doesn't really rem matter at this point. Um, and, and the rookie debut card itself is really nice. This is actually one of the nicer redemptions I've seen. So... Um, so that's kind of cool. So that's the redemp rookie redemption. Again, I don't know whether any of the others, there are some rookies that would be within the base set, but they're essentially nobodies uh, other than Matt Stajan. If I do have Matt Stajan in the pile of base, it's his rookie card. Okay, so that's that. So next, Jim Dowd, and we got a first time all-star of Marty Turco. So we're getting very all Marty Turcoed up here. Uh, so that's pretty nice, the Marty Turco. And this would be, let's see. So this is called a first time all-star. And the first time all-stars uh, is a checklist of only 10 cards. Uh, it's a gold metallic sheen and it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a pretty beautiful card. Uh, Mark Turco appeared in his first NHL All-Star Game in Florida in 2003 in the midst of his third NHL season, and he stopped 10 of 11 shots. So the other ones in the first-time All-Stars would have been Marion Gabrick, Danny Heatley, um, Todd Bertuzzi, Ole Jokinen, Vinny LeCavalier, Patrick Willing, Glenn Murray, Marty St. Louis, and Jocelyn Thibault. Uh, I didn't even know that Jocelyn Thibault made the All-Star Game. So here are our last two hits. So let's see what they are. And in front of it, I have a Sean Horkoff. And then I do have a jersey, and it is Marcel Hosa with the Habs. So I hit a jersey, and it's Marcel Hosa of the Habs, which is cool as a Habs fan to hit a Hab. Very cool. So the game used, so this is just an inaction uh, game used jersey, I believe, is what it's called uh let's see da, 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 da. bronze game used jersey i guess it's something to that effect and it is numbered to 32 so it's not a bronze uh gold oh this is considered what is this considered uh oh it's considered a ruby all right so it's a Ruby game used jersey. Um, and these are numbered to, I think there's 90 of them. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, so I assume, so what were the odds of the Rubies? First time trophy league leaders highlight read. Huh. Fitting card. Da, da, da. Game used memorabilia inserts one per 15. First name type trophy words. So I believe uh, it's one per 15, so two per pack. Um, that's That makes sense, I guess. I believe that's what they say. I don't know if the odds are, are different. Yeah. It just says Ruby game used jersey. Okay, so that's one of the ones you can get. Uh, and then I got one last one last card. Let's see what it is. And it's an O-Can... Oh, no, there's two hits in here. So the first one is a Patrick Wah O-Canada. And it represents... Represented Canada in the international competition in the Olympics in 1998. Uh, and the O-Canadas... So the O-Canadas are... Uh, a checklist of only 14. And it runs from Mario and Patrick. Patrick, who's card number two... Looks a little bit dinged on the corner there, actually. Uh, but this is a checklist of only 14. Uh, and the ones to get probably would be the Mario, the, the Marty Bordeaux, or the Patrick. So that's really cool. And then finally, we have, we have a jersey. You guys had a sneak peek at it. Uh, let's see what it is. So in the back, we have a Brad uh, Ibister, Ibister. And then we, in front, we have Sandus Ozelinch. And we have a Ryan Smith, and we have an in the in action in the game action, Sammy Kapanen, Sammy Kapanen jersey, and it's a piece of black jersey, 
uh, M39, so I believe it's from the same checklist as the other one, more or less. Probably the ruby if it's red. Okay, so that's it. So let's do a quick recap of this box of $17.95 in the game action. Uh, I don't, I have a huge, 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 huge stack of base. There could potentially be a rookie or two in here if they're normal rookies as opposed to the redemption. So uh, there were just a couple of rookies that were sort of hidden in the checklist. Uh, as I said, you know, someone like a Matt Stajan or whoever it was I mentioned potentially would be the one I get, I, I would have gotten. Uh, so I got a big stack of the 600 base, but other than that, I got a Sammy Kapanen, uh, which looks to be a Ruby jersey. Uh, I got an O Canada of Patrick Waugh. I got a Marcel Hosa of uh, the Montreal Canadiens uh, jersey. I got a first time All Star of Marty Turco. I got a Homeboys, which is uh, hometown Homeboys of Marty Turco and Ron Francis. As I said, the Kingston connection that I could have gotten would have been Gilmore and. Um, and uh, what's his name? <laughs> I'm blanking on his name now. Uh, Mueller, 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 Mueller. And then I got a Marin Gabrick highlight reels. And then I got a rookie re redemption of, uh, I think it's, what, what, who would I say it was? Um, Pickinen, I think is who I said it was. Uh, and, and it's a pretty cool card actually, just to keep as a memorabilia, not a memorabilia, as a, um, you know, just as a novelty to have had that card. So that's it. I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York.